Hello again, YouTubers and Sony fans. Just because you may have known, I made my first video, part one. This is going to be part two, where I left off. Now, the issue on the ROM, Sony, you need to really set your game up on more ROM. 256 megabytes of ROM is not enough, Sony. You really need to put more ROM into your system console. Hopefully, you you know put more into the PlayStation Vita. If the PlayStation Vita is going to be what somewhat somewhat averagely powerful as the PlayStation 3 or close to it, well, you better make sure it has a good decent amount of ROM. Because you know there's been rumors on the internet saying there's going to be a cut on ROM. You know, don't believe everything what you hear on the internet. I'm taking that as you know the way. I am not believing you guys are cutting the ROM because so you can meet Nintendo DS at price because that's just stupid. You can step your whole game up to the next level by outbeating their consoles by having more ROM, making sure it runs and operates smoothly, have a good decent battery life. I hope PlayStation Vita has a good decent battery life than what the um, PlayStation, uh, PlayStation Portable did. Um, besides PlayStation 3, I do have a PlayStation Portable, but yeah, it's kind of a dispose of right now until it gets fixed. Or just get a new one. Um, make sure you guys fit more ROM, more memory into your ROM than 256 megabytes. Go with 512 megabytes or slightly higher. Maybe put one gig gigabyte in case you're going to add so many cool features to your consoles. And by features, you know, like Netflix, Cinnamon Max, and what, well, Music Unlimited. Or all that stuff, all those cool little features you, you guys want to add on. But, and from the printer settings, please take that out. No one's even using it. If someone is, I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, and I don't want to you know, make you guys think that you lost printer settings, but it's a, no one, I'm not even using it. Half the people I know who aren't even using it. It's just a useless icon being there. Everything else, I, I see a good point for it to have and stuff. Oh, plus, um, the system update that you guys release, you know, is the cause of the whole issue problems and all. Sunny. So, Either you're going to come up with the next system software update that's going to fix these issues, or you're just going to leave it that way and then go ahead and cause more systems to go down and affecting more people. Because I already started a PlayStation on, on the forums about this, and on, I also created a page on the Facebook. And the links will be in the description as always. There's more people by the day who's having issue problems, or some of them haven't been on the forum or on the Facebook site on it. If, if you guys are having issue problems, please go to those two links in my description. Go to the forum or go to the you know my Facebook one. Either one you guys pick, whatever, or do both. State your problems, leave it there, and. We're going to work together, send this to Sony, and we're going to, you know, let Sony know that they're the ones who are causing the problems. It's not the hardware. It's not the system. The system worked perfectly fine. If your system comes with work before the update or had a little issue problems before the update, then it's okay. But this is kind of ridiculous now. After I did a backup and fully restored my whole system, it, I still get the same issue problems. I formatted the hard drive completely. I, I even put a different hard drive in it. It still did the same thing with a different hard drive. Okay, it's putting more RPMs into the system console better, like the 72 RPM. Will that solve the freezing issues? Maybe or maybe not. Is the 54 RPM not enough? That's why the game's freezing. Maybe or not. Some people say that putting a more higher RPM would solve the issue problem, but I don't believe that. That's just bogus, full of crap. 
the RPM shouldn't have any, you know, effect on how, if the game freezes or not. Um, if you guys are systems are having problems on the um on the Facebook page and then on the forum blog. I will be leaving something else on there, right? And we're all going to work together, try to get this out to the news and whatever, get this to whatever people who need to know that Sony is, is the issue cause of their systems messing up now, because they are the ones pulling the strings, because the PlayStation 3 was a heavy loss to them, and in order for them to make up for that money loss, Sony is now having some of the system models being affected by the update. Not sure how, but they're doing it somehow. Um, if you guys want to, you know, sit, you know, send it in, call along, or whatever, go ahead, because a couple people got hung up on, on, on the same issues, and when they told me that it's, it's not me, there's other people who are having the same issue problems similar to me. And then, you know, Sony just blew them off, hang up the phone, didn't answer the emails again. Yeah, Sony, that's that's the way to go, man. That's the way to go. You're just losing your customers right there. That's called stepping your game down more. Sony, if you're really going to step your game up, you need to step up your actions and quit this silly little thing. Of course, you lost a lot of money on the PlayStation 3, but that was at your fault. You guys should have probably thought your you know, your design, what specs you're going to use in your hardware designs, or what it's going to be with the system software version you guys created. If you guys are watching this, you know, the first part and the second part, um, I'm not only going to make two parts, I'm going to try to keep this one as short as possible. If not, I'm sorry, but, yeah. And here's another thing, uh, if you guys haven't noticed, the PlayStation, well, yeah, which I probably did say in the last week, but I'm going to go ahead and say it again, if, if I did say it. See, PlayStation 2 came out in 2000 and PlayStation 3 in 2006. It didn't last its 10 life or spec like it was supposed to. So, if you were to take 2006 and add another six more years to it, you get 2012. Does 2012 mean the PlayStation Vita, or does it mean another PlayStation system console, home console, maybe it could be PlayStation 4, or whatever it's going to be called. Or it's going to be a newly, truly designed whole PlayStation 3 console that has full compatibility with all their games. That's one of the best systems using new stuff in it, all them, from what they see on the market. Better um, heat reducing, better fan system, system operates and runs faster, there's more megabytes of ROM, um, yeah, more better and stuff. Sony, um, the stuff you use in the PlayStation 3 sign was okay, it's just you needed a buff up on the ROM. The graphics are truly amazing, as you can see. It, well, I mean, it, well, from my point of view, it looks really amazing, but, you know, I'm on a small TV here doing this. But on high definition, high definition, the games look great, amazing. I would still buy your console even though you are having those issue problems and you're the ones who are causing it. And if it keeps up, I probably, probably won't update to any more system software updates. But most of them are, you know, forcing system updates. You have to do it in order to log into your PSN account. So yeah. I don't want to give up on my PSN account because, you know, I already built my trophy level up to um, level 6 and I'm almost level 7, one trophy short. I got my first Platinum. I'm really excited because, I, you know, Platinums are really hard to get. Most, to most people it's hard or not. Um, my first Platinum came from in Infamous and my second Platinum is going to be coming from either Star Ocean or Final Fantasy XIV. Once I, you know, um, done talking with uh, Twin Games about 
the issue problem they had on the video game. See, I had over a, a lot of, you know, guilt, of course, on Final Fantasy XIII. I spent five months doing uh, farming, and for some reason, all the guilt just, bam, vanished, disappeared. The, the whole valley went down to zero again. So, yeah, th there was a bug in their game, and I think they must have missed it, because I was going for the, you know, to have max total guilt without any cheating or anything like that, or hacking, or whatever. Because I've seen on the Xbox 360, a lot of people hack, you know, get 99, what, thousand, million, infinite gil. Well, I was going to do it my way, work for it for five months. So I can prove that you guys don't have to cheat just to get that much gil. I managed to get a lot of gil in such a short time. Um... All I did was, you know, have my characters buffed up to the max level. Of course, you know, it takes time battling the, whatever you want to call it, those big creatures that, you know, stump you to death easily. I managed to beat a lot of them, got a lot of rare drops from them. The chances of, you know, the rare drops happening is probably, well, whatever chance of, you know, you know, whatever, you know, on that part. But, yeah, I managed to get a lot, sold 99 of them got myself a lot of gil, and after I sold 99 for the first time, I sold a second 99, then a third 99, and a fourth 99. I, I made a lot of gil on that. Um, I was trying to rack up my gil so I can show it on the video later on, but I, you know, talked with Scanning Entertainment on that a little bit, and yeah, I, they said yeah, my save data was corrupted or something. And I told him, how was it corrupted even though I still was able to play in my game? He said, this happened in during gameplay when I was selling my stuff to make my money go out more. So, yeah, I'm still talking with them on that, but, yeah. Sorry, guys, I kind of got off a little subject there, but, yeah. Um, well, I probably made this video pretty long, you know. Um, sorry about that, it's just... Cat. Cat's kind of bad. Well, thanks for watching this video and hope that, you know, you stay tuned and keep up with me reading my next videos. The, you know, the links will be in both the video descriptions, like I said from the first video and probably on here a little bit right now, I'm saying. The links will be in the description. One, go to Facebook on, you know, the updates causing issue problems and stuff and the other are on the PlayStation forums. And I'll try to put some on the blog and some of this stuff. I need, you know, post updates on the new system updates and stuff. If you guys are having the same problem, please go on the blog, post it, go to the form in the link, go there, start your own form. I'll come to your form and comment on it too. Start your own page, I'll comment on it too. We can all work together, get this issue problem fixed, solved, and we can happily play our games without freezing up, breaking up, messing up, or whatever. Thanks for watching. Peace out.